Hey loves, it's just aka Designer Mama and if you're new to my channel, here on my channel we cover all things designer from contemporary all the way up to luxury with a touch of lifestyle and fashion. So if that sounds like you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Girl, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Alright guys, before we get into the unboxing, can we just take a moment to appreciate the art? Like, they sent this in, which I think was like a limited edition when you purchased a bag or purchased anything from Loewe online. And I just opened this up and I just thought it was so beautiful. Like, I just want to take a moment to appreciate the art. But now, getting into the bag. Guys, I did open this up, so I guess it's not a true unboxing. Um, I opened it up about an hour ago because I was just so excited. And, um, I couldn't. But I did put it back in, all right? So we're just going to make pretend that I never saw this. So I got the receipt here. This is the dust bag. It's very simple, by the way, I must say. It has just the little Loewe logo there on the bottom and the bag i picked up is the puzzle bag in black and silver in the size small now guys i'm not going to lie i was kind of anxious to open this up because i wasn't sure how big the small was because i was watching so many videos online about the different sizes and the closest store to me is in the city and i just wasn't trying to do all of that it was too far for me so i ordered it online and when you order online girl i'm gonna be completely honest they give you 14 days to return and i think it gets returned i don't know if it goes back to spain where it goes i just know it's 14 days and this bag is too expensive to be playing around so i was like we either keeping it or we not i need to know i opened it up and i do want to say it is stunning um again i've never seen it in person because there isn't a Loewe store near me at least close enough that I'm willing to travel on. it's so beautiful and this kind of was a little bit of an impulse purchase because I heard that they're going to discontinue the puzzle bag at least as you see it here and they're going to move forward with the edge version they do have the edge version online and if I'm being honest I don't really like it as far as like the handle goes I like that this is simple and I think the edge has like thing I'll put a picture up if I can um, in the video somewhere so you can see what I'm talking about in case you're unfamiliar but it just looks like it would be very uncomfortable to hold the top handle so I liked the classic look I think it's beautiful but I'm not gonna lie guys I still think it's kind of big um, my husband was like I like it it's, it's really nice I was like, oh, should I return it or exchange it for the, um, they do have a, like a mini size that's a little smaller than this. And then my husband was like, you're always buying mini bags and then complaining, you can't fit enough stuff in it. And then I'm just like, dang, he got a point. So I'm, I'm really like, I don't know guys if I should exchange this for the smaller size or keep the bigger size. If you have this bag, please let me know what you guys think. But I heard that the small is like perfect everyday size. It could hold a ton. So I was like sold online. I was like, okay, yep, sold. Check, 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 check. Okay. It's beautiful, guys. Don't get me wrong. It's very beautiful. Let's open it up. Now, it didn't come like in all this like wrapping paper like other brands. But I mean, I guess it's okay, right? You know? And I heard that this bag went up like in price significantly. Um, I am definitely new to the brand, if I'm being honest. And that's kind of like what I liked because I did want a bigger everyday bag that was kind of low key. Because guys, I'm always with my baby and I'm always out and about. And I just don't want to feel like a walking target sometimes. Like I just want to be carefree, have a cute little bag that I could throw everything that I need in it. And I figured this could work. So it has an adjustable strap. I really do like the simplistic look of it. Um, let me know guys in the comments down below if you're a mom too and you like this happened to you. But I don't know if maybe I'm just getting older and maturing or if it's the mom in me. But I just feel like my style is like kind of evolving. I'm noticing that I'm not really going towards the same things that I used to. Like I'm not really reaching for like such monogram bags and the loud purses like I'm really reaching more towards like low-key bags I guess it would be called like the quiet luxury type of bags but I don't know I just really like the simplistic looks now and I'm just I've also like sold off a lot of my bags but bags that I knew that I wasn't really using and I did 
use some of those funds towards purchasing um, one of my other bags, my Chanel Dream Bag. If you didn't see that video, <laughs> make sure to go watch it. This is what it looks cross body on me. I'm 5'1", guys. What do you guys think? Does it look too big for me? Or, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really, I really don't know. Like, I like it, but I'm not sure. I wanted to throw it over the shoulder, which I guess could work too, like long. And you could adjust it more, I guess. So I could probably make this a little bit shorter wear it over if I need it to but it's just so simplistic and I love it so much it's one of those bags that even though I feel like it is becoming more popular like puzzle bags specifically but I really do like that if you don't know if you don't know and if you know you know it's one of those type of bags so I really really do like that like I said I don't want to be a walking target I want to be low key I do want to say though like I, okay there we go I was going to say like I thought I was supposed to have a little slouch but I guess I got it you know do the slouch but I do like it like this better this little this is cute oh I feel classy all right when you open it up it does it's just all like one big canvas it has one little pocket here and then one big inside pocket and then you have a smaller little pocket in the back honestly I feel like this is big enough like if I just have to run to the store with my baby I could throw like some small thing of wipes in here like a pamper or two my wallet keys and I think like honestly I think this could just work like this is like this could be like a little cute mom bag and running errands bag because I feel like you could carry a ton and also it's super light I'm not gonna lie like I thought it might be a little heavier and I like that the strap is pretty the strap is pretty fine I think for the size um if it was any smaller um I think that might be a little uncomfortable if the bag gets heavier and when I was looking at the mini, I believe it's the mini version. It might be the mini and the nano. I believe the strap isn't adjustable. I'm kind of sure. So guys, I'm 5'1". If a bag is just too long on me, it's just, it's just, I'm not gonna like it. Taking it all in. I really do like this bag. And guys, the prices, um, I'm sure are gonna keep increasing, you know, like with everything. These prices are just getting a little bit out of control. And like I said, I believe they're discontinuing this. Now, I don't know exactly when that's going to happen. I don't know if maybe they're just trying to sell off whatever stock they have left or how that's going to work. But I mean, I guess if you don't like the edge and you wanna get your hands on this, um, if they don't have it available in store, like I said, I did get mine online. They have other colors as well, but I don't know, I feel like black is classic and I did love the tan, I think it was the tan, it was called tan or caramel, um, one of the browner colors, I did love it, but again, if I was looking for like an everyday bag, I feel like black is a safe bet, like if I, I don't want to be worried about if I'm wearing jeans or if I'm wearing a darker color and I'm throwing it off and it's rubbing, I'm not sure how long the brownish or the lighter colors will last. If you guys have this bag, no seriously, like if you have this bag and you're like my height or around you know similar to my frame do you guys think like it looks too bulky it looks crazy um i'm trying to switch up my everyday bags even though i say it's everyday bags i want to switch it out like maybe once a month or every other week because i really do want to start using my bags like i said i'm kind of building up my collection and i'm going kind of in a different route from the bags that i used used to gravitate towards i'm trying to limit the wear and tear so i feel like if i kind of rotate my bags a bit it won't show as much wear and tear and I do take care of my bags but you know if you use it every day one of my favorite bags if you're not new to my channel then you know is the uh, Prada Edition 2005 I believe it is the crossbody one I love that bag oh my god I wear that bag like so much like I love it so much but it is a little bit on the smaller side so sometimes I do need a little bit more space I really do love that bag so I'm like you know what I need more bags so I could give that one a break <sighs> let me put it on okay one more time hada, hada, hada. Guys, see, so all right, guys, that's it for my unboxing on the Loewe Bay puzzle bag in the size small. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I cannot wait to hear from you and chat it up with you guys. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.